throughout the month of March, the USL will be kicking off across the country and join us for all the action on ESPN and CBS platforms as the Rowdies get us going here in Cary. And San Antonio scored two late goals and was able to steal a point. That's what Coach Nielsen is looking for, a complete 90-minute performance as Crisostomo loses the ball. Anderson, the first chance in the opening minutes the third Eastern Conference opponent for North Carolina FC. And this is a real indicator for see, see how they compete as Anderson's shot is wide of the post. He wins this ball, and really Tampa Bay's just sitting back waiting for it. Armstrong wins it, plays it into Anderson. He gets one touch and tries to go for that far post, but just misses it wide. And yeah. Three chances for Oleg Sanderson. Got to feel that one is coming soon as Perez delivers the corner. Headed by Craig. Controlled by Malou. Morton tipped. And Jordan Farr gets the save. Just to lay that ball into the path of Martin. Here you see it. Just a nice little touch back. And Martin hits it. Well, it was actually Anderson that tried to get a nice little deflection on it. But to Zark. Crisostomo looking towards Jennings on the wide, that wide area. Throw in and a quick outlet to Anderson. Tampa Bay fell asleep. Oleg Sanderson cuts it in the middle to Perez. Touches to DaCosta. Best chance of the night. Yeah, Tampa Bay thought it was their throw. Yeah, it was confusion on the throw in. And look at Anderson off to the races. He looks like he's going to play this ball over. He waits a little bit, plays it in. And here comes the shot. And again, just rises. A lot of options at the far post. Both to start as well as Lasso. Can't neglect his aerial prowess as Hilton. It falls to the near post, and it's going to be an own goal. An unfortunate kick by Mikey Maldonado. Tampa Bay will not care. The visitors are 1-0 to the good. I'll tell you what, Brian, sometimes you just whip it in with pace and you pray, and that's exactly what happened here. He whips it in, a great ball. Mikey Maldonado just tries to get his foot on it to clear it out and unfortunately it goes the wrong way and right past Jake McGuire in goal as he saw it really late but look at that he just tries to and he's taken down for a free kick quick restart though as the boys in blue look to get an equalizer heavy touch though by Craig Tampa Bay looking to punish Artiaga to Jennings and McGuire Bodies it away for a corner kick. Good job of getting down low and covering that near post with his body. Great save from the goalkeeper. Bars pass intercepted by Martin. Perez. Looking to try to cross with his left foot. Instead, slips it to Maldonado. Armstrong. And Farr gets the save. Tackle by... The Raleigh native, Forrest Lasso, is the long throw, backheaded by Desart, and Farr picks up the pieces. That's not usually how it's scripted, but it made it really easy for the goalkeeper just to come out and claim it. Now Tampa Bay will look to bring it out as North Carolina is going to make a couple changes. Looks like Evan Conway and Julian Placias is going to be coming in. To Costa, what a touch to Anderson and Perez just stopped his run for a minute. To Costa picks up the scraps. To Costa, oh, here you see it. He gets his foot in here, and sometimes it spills. And to Costa, great work trying to get around the defender and just play it to the far post. And Armstrong up against Desart, back to Perez. Perez, good low ball. It finds Rafa! And we are tied at one! Rafa, missing it! In the right 
right place at the right time. And we are level. Well, you mentioned 13 goals last year, and you weren't going to keep him off the score sheet for long. No matter what position he plays, he's one of the most talented players on the field. And he, as you said, Brian, was in the right place at the right time. Look at this ball. player speed to come back and, and prevent so many opportunities for Tampa Bay. He's just a fantastic player all around. Brian. Excellent shift for the wing back, Ezra Armstrong. He's competing with Nelson Flores Blanco in that spot. But now Shaft Brewer comes in as Maldonado with the set piece. And it's controlled by far. Another quick outlet. We saw this earlier in the second half as Jennings eludes Brewer. And there's Rafa back to win it back for North Carolina. We're into the fifth minute of added time here in this second half. Does North Carolina have one last chance? They were looking towards McLaughlin. And that is full time. The best performance for John Bradford's side as Rafa's equalizer.